Hello guys, what's up? It's Monster Game HD here today, and this is going to be my first kind of less edited episode of my gaming news show. I've never thought of a name. I think of a name. Let, let me know in the comments. Give me a name for the show. Uh, it's going to be less edited, and let's see. Better with the light or without the light. I it's better with the light. So, this is going to be horrible editing because I obviously had to film the straight from my webcam, so when I get to a point where I can use a camcorder or a camera and then you can actually shoot like at where it's not to the quality of a potato I can uh, <laughs> the, the episode will be much better but I just wanted to get one out before school so I could show you a little, guys a little bit about like what the show is about or, sorry, the show is about and uh, how it's basically going to go down so today for starters we're going to be talking about the game Dishonored is the cover right there. So, basically, Dishonored uh, from Bethesda Studios, uh, also produced Skyrim and Rage, if you've ever played those. And to start off, Dishonored plays a lot like Skyrim and Rage. Uh, basic right hand, left hand weapons, uh, powers, and Dishonored. Um, playing through Dishonored, I haven't beaten the game yet, but the way that it works is, it's kind of cool because the more, it's base, it's, it's, it's essentially like, uh, like Skyrim where there's objectives, but within those objective missions you can free roam around and you can loot things, loot people, find things, and uh, roaming around, the more people you kill, the the more consequences, like, there's these things called weepers, which are basically zombies, the more, pe the more humans you kill, the more weepers there can be, so it's kind of the more chaos, chaos you cause, the more harmful things that could come into attempt to kill you. And then, vice versa, the less chaos you cause, the less things that spawn that try to kill you. So, I've found that the person that works for me is low chaos route because it's better just fighting off your selected enemies that you have to take out for objectives and so have to take out 48,000 zombies along the way. And uh, health regen is really, really slow in that game. So, unless you have a bunch of potions, which I suggest try to loot anything because there's always things in there, whether it be coins, potions, or whatever, food, that also uh, regen you out. So, I will leave a link down below to some gameplay videos. I don't know who's and random gameplay videos that I found. So, I'll leave a link down below to those uh, so you can go check out some gameplay. Uh, I know it's kind of an old game, but the reason I brought it back up. It's because it is actually free on Xbox Live for the rest of the month, so if you guys want to pick it up, it's it's still free uh, for the next couple days. I think it ends September 1st, and uh, that's when we get our new free game of the month. I always like to pick up the free games of the month just to test them out, and then normally I believe by the end of the month because, to be honest, Dishonored is fun. There's no multiplayer, so... Those of you guys who are looking for a multiplayer game, it is not multiplayer, single player only. So, uh, I, I guess if you guys like single player, then I guess it's totally not the game for you. It's not really the type of game for me. I was never really into the first person, like, stealth games, because that's more what it is. Um, so, it's, it's not personally my type of game. I mean, I enjoyed playing through the first couple levels, but I found that I've, I've played it less and less in the past couple weeks from when I got it, so, it's, it's, I'm kind of 50-50 about it, like, I like some elements, of, some elements of the game, but yet, I can't stand some elements of the game, like, there's these rats in the game that will devour you, even if you come near them, that I cannot stand, but yet, on the other hand, I like how the, I like how you're able to upgrade your weapons and stuff like that, standard stuff, and, uh, that's pretty much, kind of how it plays more into things that uh, I have personally found about the game is that graphics 
not bad. I mean, they could look a little better for the type of game that it is. Um, the city that you play through, I believe it's called Dunwall, it looks freaking awesome. Um, it's kind of like a diesel punk theme or a steampunk theme. Um, it's really cool. Um, I do know how the game ends because I had played it before I downloaded it. I had played it at a few friends' houses, so I do know how the game ends. Um, I don't want to tell you guys, but I'm about 65% through right now, and uh, I don't know if I don't know if I'll be picking it back up again. I might be deleting it at the end of the month and picking up the new game that comes out, depending on what it is. Uh, I know there's been a, a couple good uh, free games for the, within the past couple months, so uh, that's that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for watching. This will be very poorly edited um, because. I'm, I don't have an editing software anymore, it got lost, so I'm using Windows Movie Maker to edit, which doesn't really do crap. So, uh, other than that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this first episode of uh, my, game new, my gaming news slash reviews channel, or not channel, I'm gonna say channel, uh, show on my channel. Uh, this will go up, I'm gonna try to get it up every Friday, but today's Wednesday, I'm gonna try to put it up today. Um, on Wednesday, the 27th, I believe it is, and, uh, let me, get, let me know which, which game you want me guys to review, slash, uh, yeah, to review, so, uh, thank you guys for watching, this has been Monster Gaming HD, out!